Hello, Ben here with Avid at BVE 2011 at Earl's Court in London. And I'm joined by Chris from Splice Post House Production uh, here in London as well, because we've got a little case study all about workflow, haven't we, Chris? That's right, yes. Jamie Oliver's 30 Minute Meals. OK, so Avid, of course, all about collaboration mm. and openness and working uh, with different workflows and working uh, all the way through from ingest the offline, the online, the colouring, and um, tell us about it, how it worked with Jamie's 30 Minutes then. Okay, so uh, it was a ambitious project, there was 40 episodes, it was shot on red, so there was a huge amount of red material to deal with, and it was also shot on 5D, so nothing was tape based, everything was file based, um, and we had to think about how we were going to get this stuff into the Avid for editing, uh, then we have a base light, which I use for grading, so we had to come up with a workflow from the Avid to the base light and then also go into Avid DS for finishing um, and yeah, dealing with a huge amount of shows and a huge amount of media. Okay, I suppose the simple question, if we just put aside the, the amount of shows and media that you used, people are going to be interested in the fact you've gone from a, a, an Avid product to a different product and then back to the Avid. How, how does that work? How's the integration? Yeah, so. When we chose base lights, it was really important that it didn't sit there as an island, uh, as a standalone grading system. It's not an Avid product, but it works really well with uh, Avid DNX HD media. Uh, you can open Avid sequences using AAFs. So actually, the integration with the base lights and the other systems are, yeah. uh, is, is, is great, and it's transparent. It's a busy show and yeah. we are in the yeah. aisle. Excellent, so we like the collaboration, we like the integration, it works for you as an editor. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean the thing is, we had to find a way of getting it out of, out of a media composer into a base light without losing any of the kind of edit, you know, metadata that was there. So multiple layers of uh, video tracks and animated uh, picture in picture, things like that. And we didn't want to spend time rebuilding that. So. The great thing about going from Media Composer to DS is that the conform is, is really good. You know, you can open up a sequence and all of that multi-layered work that's been done is there. You can then tweak that and finesse it. You don't have to rebuild it from scratch. The base light was really, as I say, a transparent part of that process um, where the grading happened. We worked on the full frame images, but we could then send it back to the DS for a final grade, uh, for a final finish. Brilliant. So, a workflow using RED, using Media Composer, uh, using the Baselight and using Avid DS. I think we like that.